Hi, my name is Dr. Ajay Doifode. I'm an ENT consultant in Mumbai. Today I'm going to speak on autosclerosis. Autosclerosis, the literal meaning is auto related to ear and sclerosis, which is abnormal hardening of the ear tissue. In this condition, there is gradual hearing loss. It starts with one ear and then progresses to other ear. Commonly seen in the age group of 15 to 50, more common in females and more during pregnancy when there are hormonal changes happening in the body. In a normal ear, when we hear, when sound reaches the ear, it sets the eardrum into vibration, which in turn causes three small tiny bones in the middle ear to vibrate. Of this, the smallest bone, which is called as tapes, if it gets fixed because of abnormal bone deposition or thickening, then sound can't reach the inner ear and there will be hearing loss. It happens due to factors such as hereditary, that means genetic involvement or abnormal bone formation if there is low levels of sodium fluoride. So, Patients who are suffering from autosclerosis will have hearing impairment or deafness. It starts initially for low pitch sound, low frequency sound, so which will gradually progress to the middle and the higher frequency sound. So it's an irony that patients who are hearing less, they actually tend to speak softly thinking that their own volume is too loud. They tend to hear better in noisy environment. Some amount of patients, as the disease progress, might experience buzzing or ringing in the ear, which we call as tinnitus. And they also may experience some amount of dizziness. This condition is diagnosed by an ENT specialist. When you go to his clinic, he will examine you and do two audiometry tests called as audiogram and a tympanogram. Depending upon the specific pattern of these graphs, he will confirm you are suffering from autosclerosis. In options of treatment of autosclerosis, we don't have any definitive medications or drugs. Sodium fluoride is given to stabilize or slow the disease process, but it can't cure the disease. Hearing aids are given to patients who are unfit for surgery or who are not willing for a surgery. But the mainstay of treatment of autosclerosis remains a surgery which is called as stepidotomy. In the olden days, we used to call this as stepidectomy. In this, the fixed stapes bone is removed and replaced with a prosthetic Teflon piston which does the same job of the abnormal fixed bone. That means it continues the transmission of sound to the inner ear, thereby rectifying the deafness of the patient. Stepidotomy surgery is an extremely rewarding surgery. Patient starts hearing immediately after the surgery. The recovery period is short and the advantage of Undergoing a surgery versus a hearing aid is that you have natural hearing. So the sound which is entering the ear is quite natural rather than an electronic sound that comes from a hearing aid. So patients are often comfortable with surgery rather than a hearing aid. I have been doing surgery for autosclerosis for the last 25 years and we have a large series of these patients. 